Oscar-winning actress Charlize Theron claimed, not long ago, that she considered leaving the United States for her home country of South Africa, because the U.S. is too racist. Yes, she seriously said that. Free Trump slash Melania coin, limited supplies remaining now, Theron has apparently brainwashed her, seven-year-old boy into thinking he is actually a girl. In other words, a prepubescent child has decided that he is transgender. From, Daily Wire, just two weeks ago, actress Charlize Theron lamented about her being shockingly available and begged men to grow a pair, by asking her out. Someone should tell her that it's rather difficult for men to grow a said pair if they are, literally stopped from doing it, like she is currently doing with her own son. Speaking with the Daily Mail, Theron said that she has been raising her adopted seven-year-old son, Jackson, as a girl since he was just aged three, allowing him to wear dresses, frequently referring to him as she. Yes, I thought she was a boy, too, Charlize told the outlet. Until she looked at me when she was three years old and said, I am not a boy. So there you go. I have two beautiful daughters who, just like any parent, I want to protect and I want to see thrive," she continued. They were born who, they are and exactly where in the world both of them get to find themselves as they grow up, and who they, want to be, is not for me to decide. Paul, do you think Nancy Pelosi is mentally unfit for office? Mental illness is, the biggest threat facing the world. Sounds like Child Protective Services needs to make its way to Charlize's home ASAP, speaking of transgender. Whenever, one hears the words hate crime hoax, the person of interest is not a conservative almost 11 times out of 10. Democrats have a big problem on their hands with lefties making things up in an attempt to savage pro-Trump Americans, but fortunately for them, the media is on their side. Another potential hate hoax has been uncovered, and this one is comparable, if not worse, than former Empire actor Jussie Smollett's poll. Would you like to see Judge Janine as our next Supreme Court Justice? From Daily Wire Michigan prosecutors charged 54-year-old Nikki Jolie, a transgender person, for allegedly burning down their own home in 2017 and what investigators appear to believe was intended to be a fake hate crime. The LGBT activist, whose five pets were killed in the fire, had allegedly received threats in the past and was instrumental in leading a battle for LGBT rights in Jackson, Michigan. Authorities later determined the fire was intentionally set, but the person they arrested came as a shock to both supporters and opponents of the gay rights movement, the Detroit News reported on Monday. It was the citizen of the year, Nikki Jolie. Continued. While an official motive has not yet been established, the Detroit News noted that an investigative police report shed light on a possible motive. Two people who worked with Jolie at St. John's United Church of Christ, where the Jackson Pride Center was located, said he had been frustrated the controversy over gay rights had died down with the passage of the non-discrimination law. According to the report, the church officials, Barbara Shelton and Bobby James, when asked by police about a possible motive for the fire, said Joe Lee was disappointed the Jackson Pride Parade and Festival, held five days before the blaze, hadn't received more attention or protests. Cast your vote, should President Trump close down this southern border? You might like let's block ads. Why?